Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing. What's up, fabs and besties? I've been searching for fun finds at Target. And I think it's safe to say we found a few. First up, mini trees. These are pretty much a staple. We can find the bottle brush trees just about every year in different colors. This is a pack of nine for $5. We have two shades of green and a cream color tree. I did see a pack of rainbow trees in case you're decorating for your rainbow high dolls. These measure about two and three quarter inches. The block at the bottom allows them to stand. However, it's kind of large to me. I wonder if we can remove it. Let's break out the old wire cutters and see if we can cut the tree from the base. Ah. Oh, I lost some of the tree. It's okay, false alarm, it survived. But now I have a block and a leaning tree. And that block has a little piece of metal in it. Let's cut a small piece of a jumbo craft stick. Ugh, there we go. Glue the tree onto the craft stick to help it stand straight, giving us a smaller tree perfect for the dollhouse. Wow, I just realized you can remove the wire by holding the base with the wire cutters then turning the block. All right, we're gonna hang on to these. I'm sure we can find a use for them later. For $3, I picked up this truck ornament. It's pretty much on the same scale as our little trees. And if your dolls have dolls, then you know, they can have a truck. I removed the hardware from the top. We could also use this like at the bottom of our Christmas tree for a little extra decoration. For $5, we picked up a set of wooden countdown blocks. They are little blocks shaped and painted like houses. If you turn them around, they are solid on the back. I like the details painted on the front. I'm just not overly excited about the number. So you could paint over that or you could just turn it over to the back and paint your own little scene. We can use them above our doll fireplaces to decorate for the holidays. Again, around the bottom of the tree and we can use them to set up a miniature scene. For $3, we found this little sign. I thought that was kind of cute. Perfect for a doll sized tree farm. You know what? I'm getting inspired, y'all. These packs come with so many little pieces. We could probably set up a scene that looks like a doll home store, something like Pottery Barn. So let's grab our ugly sweaters and get crafty. I don't know why they call these ugly. I think it's adorable. These were $3 each, and you do have to cut like a string or two to get them off the little plastic hanger and it was glued to the hanger. Oh, check that out. It's a teddy bear hanger. These little sweaters have totally become a tradition in the doll world. Slide it over the doll's head for an instant holiday look. I did notice that sometimes the neckline is a little larger on some than the others. So I just keep an eye out for that when I'm looking for ones that are easier to get on. However, in the past, we have cut them up the back and added Velcro, which makes it way easier. They had a few more designs. These are just the ones that I picked up, but this one is definitely my favorite. All right, now we can start crafting. I am using foam board that I also picked up at Target for $2.99. And yes, you can get foam board at other places like the Dollar Tree. I just prefer this particular one by Elmer's. I find that it's a little more dense and it holds up pretty well for me. We are going to make the basic doll room and cut off seven inches, giving us two pieces, a 13 inch by 28 piece for the walls and a 28 by seven inch piece for the floor and whatever else we need. Measure over 11 and a half inches from the sides. Score a line so it can bend and snap. 
Oops, I just remembered this is 28 inches and not 30. We're used to making them with 30 inches. So on this side, I'm only going to go over 10 inches and score my line, giving me a trifold with uneven walls and about six and a half inches in the center. So I cut a one and a half by 13 inch piece from the leftover foam board and glue it onto the side using hot glue. Now my walls are even. Let's score a line that is an inch and a half from the corners so the wall can bend the other direction, giving us a small recess. I cover the side walls with a light wood grain, cut a piece for the center floor, cover it with paper, glue it in place. I cut a few one and a half inch strips glued one to the bottom. Then I covered a few with paper, glue one on top, glue the others going up the wall for shelves. Now I am out of foam board, so I can't make floor extensions, but I can just lay scrapbook paper on the ground to fill in the gaps. Oh, come on. Lift it up, put it under, there we go. All right. Not too bad. I found this countdown display for $5. It's made of metal and it has lots of shelves. I think this could make a pretty nice shelving unit for our space. So I'm just gonna place it on this wall and it's gonna help to hold the wall back and stop it from folding forward. I picked up two. A while back, I found these risers at Target for $5. It's a set of three, and I originally bought them to use as a table, but they're a little short. But if we stack two, I think we could use it as a display in our shop with a little storage underneath. And we can move it around wherever we need it. And now our store with all the shelving is done. But can it close? Let's put the shelves in the center stack the tables and place them on the end. Then we can close the walls. Yeah, it still closes. But all of these things are kind of heavy. So when I move it, I need to make sure the bottom is supported. Let's bring over our little trees. Hey, they fit. Barely. I spread them around a little, then add the houses. And we have 25 of those. So there is more than enough to go around. I found this ornament at the beginning of the store in the value section. And Wanda's wonderful mini world on Instagram showed that they could be separated. So if we wanted to, we could use them as snowshoes for our dolls, or we can just leave them as is and hang them on the wall for decoration. And that ornament was $1. I picked up this peacock ornament for $3. After removing the hardware, this could be a really nice statue in a doll room. It doesn't really wanna stay on the shelf. Might need to use like some poster putty or blue tack. We'll come back to that. I found these large stars for $3. Maybe they could be used for like doll wall art. It's a set of two, and it could be nice in the back of our store. At the front of the store, they had three mini wreaths for $3. It's an ornament, and it's a sparse little wreath, but that could be the vibe. I'm going to remove the rope, unhook it, and use it to decorate our shelves. I left one as a circle in the center. Here is a sled for $3. It's a nice size for a Chelsea size doll, just like this sleigh, which was also $3. Let's place the sleigh right here in the middle and fill it with this box of ornaments we got for $3. You know how stores find fun, creative ways to display merchandise. I found a larger bottle brush tree for a dollar. We can place it in this little back corner I put the little truck on one of the shelves and hung the sled on the wall. 
but we still have a lot of shelf space to fill. So I picked up some socks. They weren't from the holiday section, they're just regular socks. And don't worry, we're not gonna cut them up. We're just gonna use them as filler for the shelves by laying them flat so the heel is facing up. Then we're gonna fold them or fold the ends till they meet each other. And then let's fold them again and then fold it in half. Depending on the length of your sock, your folds will be different, but now it looks like a neat little stack of blankets. Stack two and place them on the lower shelves to look like four folded blankets. That took up a lot of shelf space. So yeah, let's do the whole sock thing. We have like eight pairs of socks in here now. I bought this pair at Target like a year ago and it was a dollar and I had plans to make it into something and then we never did. So it's great that we get to use them now. I was just looking at these little metal things on the socks and to me, if you flatten them out, I think we could use this as a miniature nail file. At least that's what it looks like to me. Totally not related to what we're doing, but I thought it was cool. Come on, tell me you see it. I picked up this ornament set for $10 and about Logan on Instagram, you were right. The scale is off. We have giant tacos, super-sized fries, which you could probably get away with if you really wanted to. I mean, they're about the size of like food erasers. Instead of a quarter pounder, you have a three pounder burger with cheese. Oh, I take that back, there's no cheese. There's a hot dog, a bag of chips, which is actually a decent size, and jumbo pretzels. But they don't really fit the vibe of our store, so... Moving on to puppies. For $5, they look kind of like needle felted dogs. They are a great size, but a little rough around the edges. The inside of their body is probably, it feels like, like a styrofoam. That's what it feels like. And then there is a little bit of wire in some of their legs. So they are posable. That's pretty cool. Be careful though. These are not actual toys. You can, you know, tear them apart like I just did. But I don't know, there might be some potential here. If you're into needle felting or would like to start with a base, this might or might not work. There were several different dogs and they all had some kind of accessory like a scarf or earmuffs or a hat. I am liking the poodle the best out of all of them. However, I do wish we had a longer snout. If I can find some matching felt, we could possibly fix that. The long legs are pretty easy to pose. I have yet to break it. And you know, the tail can be kind of positioned as well. However, this is not a toy, so excessive posing might uh, destroy it. So yeah, you've been warned. But I think it is possible to remove the scarf. It was only glued in one little spot right there. Oh, I think I'm breaking it. Hang on, little poodle. <gasps> Don't give up. Yay, we did it. And I think my dolls just got a new scarf. Oh yeah. Then we can add a little piece of ribbon for a collar so we don't have to feel bad about taking the little puppy scarf. Because you're happier now, aren't you? Yeah, you wanted me to have your scarf. <laughs> for one dollar, we found some miniature candy canes. There were five in the pack. They are wrapped with ribbon and are made of white plastic. And you know what? If we just remove the ribbon, uh, we could totally use these as faucets in our dollhouses. Or we can wrap them with a different colored ribbon. I placed them in a bottle cap and put them on the back wall. I picked up these dish towels for $5. They are cotton and a sage green color with white details and then white with sage green snowflakes. I cut them into little squares, sewed around the edges, leaving an opening, cut off the excess if needed, and we're gonna cut those corners, then flip them inside out, add fluff, 
Sew the opening closed to make pillows. We can cut a long strip and zigzag the edges, then fold them over and hem to make a table runner. We can cut a large square, run a stitch across the top and bottom, pull the threads to make a fringe, then fold over and hem the sides to make a throw to keep the dolls nice and warm. Stock the shelves with blankets and pillows. We still have some empty space on the back wall, so let's add our stoneware plates and platters from our YouTube Live to add a few dishes to finish our miniature home store. Decorated with our Target Fun Finds. And now we have a place to shop for the holidays. Thank you for joining us while we checked out a few fun finds from Target and built a store in a hidden doll room. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye! Yes, every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday.